Thank you all. I think we have had several health conferences which we believe have made an impact on human life. In this way, when we started way back in 1983, my purpose was very simple. My purpose was, why Indians can't get care in India? Because I lost a young man who was only 38 years old, leaving behind a four-year-old daughter and two-year-old son, absolutely stunned. You know why? I, I as a cardiologist, there was no acceptable cardiac surgery program in the country. I used to send them all to my guru, Dr. Denton Cooley in Houston. One of those days, I lost this young man. His appointment was in October. He died on November 9th. 1979. You know why? He couldn't raise $50,000. I thought to myself, how many are going to lose their lives because they can't get raised $50,000? And why should they? If Indian doctor, Indian scientist, Indian engineer are par excellence way in their IT, uh, are excellence, why can't we do this back home? I think. That's what really uh, was the beginning of Apollo. And I thank all of you, and especially the media, which gave this thought process back so that we could achieve the first hospital, which is our anniversary tomorrow. That is sixth anniversary, and I think we have something to celebrate. That's why the anniversary is concerned. There are many things Apollo family has done, and uh, they have treated the largest number of patients, the touch of lives of the largest number of people anywhere in the world, 120 million people. The next place is Mass General Hospital from Harvard, of which I was I was trained at Harvard, and in, um, in, in uh, clinically we have matched probably. They are all the best hospitals in a particular set things, whether it's cardiology, clinical care, when there's cancer, and an organ transplant, Mayo Clinic, and all of these. And that's because every one of us in the Apollo family, the 80,000 family members today, are all saying we must live up to the trust of people who walk in. I think it's just that. It's not that who have extraordinary capacity than others. All of us, I think already they have already mentioned saying, uh, we are priceless. We have enormous capacity within us, and that price has been described. Uh, putting up a search, uh, that price has been described by a wonderful scientist, Dr. Markovich from Yale University. He analyzed saying about 750 billion neurons in the brain, then I, I have got 120 billion contact cells, then went to the lung and say, this huge thing, which has got 470 trillion cells, throws out only the bad thing from our blood, carbon dioxide, and from this dirty air, it takes only the oxygen. And the heart, which comes almost 30 miles in another heart every single day, from the birth to the last breath, similarly went on the kidney, you know, who throws only the bad thing and keeps uh, our life going. And he calculated, he put a price for all of these 12 major organs and come up to the price. Somebody said, must be you know, in, in lakhs of rupees. Some are very generous saying it must be in crores of rupees. But actually, his calculation has come up to six thousand trillion dollars. So each one of us is worth each six thousand trillion dollars. I believe in God, so God has given this creature. Don't you think we owe our duty to look after this 60, six, 
say six trillion, six hundred thousand trillion dollars. I'm also missing the numbers. But I think most of us believe when I get sick anyway, I'll go, I want a doctor, I want another uh, hospital, or I will go to Apollo. But that's not what it is. I'm sorry, I have another fear which shocked me also. There are about 90 million people in India who are doing these wellness programs. They are very regular going to, the, the, you know, the, do the cycling, all sorts of exercise in the morning, do yoga, meditation, all of these. But it's unfortunate that some of them, even the marathon runners, drop dead during the marathon. You know why? Because they are looking after their body, but they do not know what is the state of health of each of these precious organs. That is why I think we have come to, uh, to this level. The second most important thing that uh, strikes all of us is we, when we know that uh, there is a great uh, tragedy, or I call it a tsunami, is coming. Six years ago, the World Bank warned, saying, in the next decade, by the end of the next decade, the world will lose, the 80% of the deaths will be from entities, and the cost burden of this is going to be $30 trillion, and for India, it's going to be $4.8 trillion. And you know what that $4.8 trillion is? 50% of GDP. I asked our government, they are on this beautiful program for uh, illness and uh, uh, health checks, wellness and health checks, plus the average of, uh, uh, with all of these, uh, can they raise from, one, I said, please raise from 1 to 3 percent, so that the public will also contribute from 5 to 7 percent, so that India will spend 10 percent of GDP in looking after this most valuable uh, feature which you call as given powers. What they did, they increased 1 to 1.25. I sincerely hope by the end of the year they will inch up another 0.25. But this is not enough. But if that is not enough, the media and all of you can make a huge impact and say, that's enough for us, with that we will keep India healthy and happy.